Well, the New South Wales government has reached an agreement to extend the operating life of the coal-fired Araring power station by two years. Reporter Jessica Kidd is with me in the studio. Uh, Jess, you've been uh, covering this story. What exactly has the government had to say? Well, the New South Wales government has this morning confirmed it's entered into a two-year deal with Origin Energy, the owner of the Araring coal-fired power station, to extend the operating life of the power station by another two years. Now, for background, the Araring power station is the largest coal-fired power station in the country. It supplies a quarter of New South Wales's electricity needs and it was scheduled to close mid next year, leading the Australian energy market operator to warn of significant energy shortfalls for New South Wales uh, with the closure of that power station while the state waited for renewable energy generation projects to ramp up and come online. So the state government had a problem on its hands and it has previously confirmed it was in talks with Origin Energy about a solution. Today, they have confirmed this two-year deal with Origin Energy. Now, what it basically means is that the New South Wales government has agreed to underwrite the power station. They're not putting up any upfront money, but they're underwriting the power station and have agreed to share in any losses capped at $450 million over that two-year deal. Now, the Environment Minister Penny Sharp said that this deal is a temporary and targeted deal designed to help ease the state's transition to renewable energy. This is what she had to say at a press conference a short while ago. We have to keep the lights on and prices down so that we can make sure that renewable energy and storage and firming is in place as we manage the exit and the much needed exit of coal-fired power. Uh, so interestingly, Jess, this has just been announced this morning, so not a huge amount of time for reactions, but I believe that there has been some. Yeah, we have already had some early reaction. Now, the union representing workers at Araring Power Station itself has welcomed the announcement because it does secure jobs for more than 200 people at that power station for another two years. We've also had the independent MP for Lake Macquarie, Greg Piper, welcome this announcement. It affects his local community. So, of course, he would be broadly welcoming of it, those extensions to those jobs. But we've also had reaction from the New South Wales Greens, condemning the deal, saying that it locks New South Wales into more fossil uh, fuel generated power for, for a few more years. Mm. And the Greens have said that this is simply a sign that the state government is dragging its feet on the transition to renewables. And we've also had solar energy advocacy groups uh, condemn the deal, essentially saying the same thing. This is just more fossil fuel generated power at the expense of that rollout to renewables. Mm. Uh, the state government has rejected that. They've said that this is a responsible agreement designed to keep power to the homes and businesses of New South Wales while it gets those renewable energy mm. projects online. While it transitions there. And so where, what, where to from here, Jess? Yeah, well, New South Wales does have a pipeline of renewable energy projects underway already. Uh, they, they are established, but they are taking time to get off the ground. Uh, so the New South Wales government says that this is very much a temporary solution to meet the energy needs of the state while that happens. It's also said that uh, Araring will close by uh, April 2029 at the latest, because New South Wales has legislated uh, targets um, by 2030 for renewable energy generation, and the state is uh, the state government says the state is on track to meet those targets. Okay, Jess Kidd, thank you very much.